Hello there and welcome to this demo video for Stop Motion Creator. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to use this software to create some awesome stop motion videos. So the first thing we need to do is take a video and upload it to the software. I have one here. I'm going to go ahead and drag it and drop it here. And that's going to go ahead and convert it and import it into the software for me. Now I can go ahead and play this and see exactly what it looks like. And if for any reason that I change my mind, I can go ahead and select a new source video here. I'm going to go ahead and pause this. And what we're going to do is we are going to click on add a marker. Now for the marker, what we're basically doing is choosing how long we would like to freeze the video and then the frames density for when we freeze it. Now the best way to do this is you're going to have to play with these numbers until you find a pattern that works good for you. For example, I found that every 0.5 seconds and at a frame density of 15 and then I'm going to click on generate. And once I generate that, it's going to pop up with the export options. But what you can do is go ahead and close out of this. You don't have to export it just yet. Then you can come back here and click on play and see exactly what that looks like with the numbers that you set up. Okay, so not too bad here for a stop motion video. But like I said, playing with those numbers is going to be what you're going to be doing for the majority of your videos. Finding something that looks good, increasing your frame density or increasing the speed or decreasing the speed in those freezes. Now, if you aren't satisfied with what you have here, simply click on the X over here to go ahead and redo your marker. And we can do the frames amount as well instead of the seconds. Now, let's go ahead and go back to what I had there because I kind of like those settings. When you click on generate, you now have your export options. So we have multiple formats, ratios, resolutions, and FPS. So we have the MP4, the move file, or the GIF, the aspect ratio here, the quality, for the resolution, I like to go with, let's say, 1280 by 720, and then your frame rates, and then simply click on export. And that's really it. You're going to choose where you would like to save it. Go ahead and name it, whatever you want to name it, and then click on save. It's going to go ahead and export your video rather fastly, I must say. And once it's done, we can go ahead and open that up and see exactly what that looks like. Okay? So there you go. In just a matter of minutes, we took a nice video and turned it into a stop motion video by simply applying some freezes in between the frames. Hello there and during this video I want to show you the pro features that we have inside of Stop Motion Creator. So I already have my video imported into the software and the first thing you're going to notice that is different from the standard version is that we have the ability to trim our video down here. So as you can see right now my video is almost 2 minutes and 30 seconds and if I click on play we can kind of go through here, see exactly what's going on. And let's just say, for example, the first 10 seconds of the video was nothing I wanted to include. If that were the case, I would drag this forward to the first 10 seconds. And I can even type in here as well. And then click on trim. Now, when I do that, we can see right now that it is currently trimming my video. And now we're down to just the 2 minutes and 19 seconds. So we trimmed off 10 seconds. So that's one major difference. If you have a video and you only want to focus on a very specific part, you can trim that down here, right here inside of the software. Next, we're going to go to add marker and we have freeze and we have speed. So we talked about freeze in the standard version and that's one of the key markers to creating your stop motion. However, we also have a speed where we can speed up our clip. Now with these markers, we can add as many markers as we like. We can stack these markers on top of each other. And we can have these markers at different parts of the video. So we'll get started with a freeze, for example. We're going to go with my 0.5 frames and the frame density to 15. Now down here at the bottom, before I click on complete, right now I have the whole video selected. So if I click on complete, this marker is going to be applied to the entire video. However, if I only wanted to add a freeze stop motion to a very specific part, I can choose that part here. So I can simply move this, let's just say the first 10 seconds for example, or we'll say the first 15 seconds, and then I click on complete. Now what's happening is the software is adding that freeze to just the first 15 seconds and the rest of the video is going to play out normally. Okay, so once that is finished, I'm going to go ahead and click on play here and the first 15 seconds are going to be the stop motion that you see right now. Okay, and we're going to let it run here just for a second, so once that 15 seconds has passed, it's going to go ahead and continue normally at the normal rate. And that should be coming up here any second now. And there we go. 
So after the first 15 seconds, it goes back to normal, okay? So now what I can do is I can come in here, and on the right-hand side, you're going to notice that we have our history of things that we're doing. So we trim the video, we have our marker, and the play button that you see is going to play for that specific marker. So if I click on play, it's going to show just those first 15 seconds for me. And I can also click on the trash can to delete any of these adjustments that I've made. But now we're going to click on marker, we're going to do a speed, and we can speed this up as you can see. Let's say we speed this up times 4.5. We're gonna drag this around. If I were to start it at the beginning, that means that my freeze marker is also gonna be speeded up. However, if I take this to the 15 second mark, and it's a little bit easier for me just to go ahead and type this in here, and then click on complete, the first 15 seconds are gonna be my freeze, and then after the 15 seconds, it's gonna be the speed. So we can see what this looks like here once it's finished. Okay, so now my video is only 38 seconds. So we're gonna play this. Okay, we have our freeze going on here for the first 15 seconds. And then right after that, it goes to four times the speed. Okay, pretty cool. Now I'm gonna add one more. We're gonna pause this. We're gonna add another freeze, but this time we're gonna add it on top of our speed. So we're gonna start this at 15 seconds as well, just so I can show you that you can overlap these as well if you wanted to. And we're going to click on complete. And once that's finished, we're going to play this. We have our standard freeze. And then we're going to switch to a four times speed with a freeze, just like that right there. Okay, so you can see the difference in the speed. And that's what you can do here inside of the pro version of the stop motion creator.